haven't been in a, a very hilly, bad environment, you know, like on my own with a partner. But hope I will be more confident in that breeding. Something I'm pretty sure I will achieve by next week. So I don't know what it was, but since I was always young, I've always wanted to join. It's just been something that's been drilled into my head. Because my, my dad was in the army, my granny was even in uh, the UDR, also Defence Regiment. Uh, my granda, and then I've heard a lot of stories back from Mongols and that. Mongols are all in the army. Uh, back stories back from World War One, where my family was in the army as well. So it's definitely been just a kind of family inheritance, just the kind of things to keep going, keep going forward with. Uh, so that's kind of why I wanted to join. And then straight out of school, done my GCSEs, because that's quite important to do, get a good education first. Um, straight on to Harrogate then, the age of 16. Uh, so I'd done my selection whilst I was in school, which was in February of 2019. Went off the training in September, same year. Stayed in Harrogate up until the next year. Went to ITC Catrick, and then I'm in battalion now. And all those, all those years that I spent in training, doing all them skills, definitely once I come to the battalion, then I'm ready to kind of go further with them skills. Adapting to just switching from civilian to that military life because it's a completely different life from civilian and whenever you you just kind of need to get in that adaptation stage where you're just getting used to everything, always meeting your timings, stuff like that, always just being well disciplined, self-discipline is probably the biggest thing to think of, you know, kind of get through everything. So uh, the hills will be completely different from this area. So whenever I go into the hills, I don't know that area at all. So you definitely need to think what you're doing, plot your points very well on the map, you know, taking grid references and stuff like that. So that's going to be a challenge, kind of switching from an area that you know to a completely different area. She's on last anyway. You attempt to re um, reorientate yourselves. All right, and carry on. Uh, if you're unable to do so, make your way back to the last known checkpoint. All right. Then once you do that new area, um, kind of trying to apply your skills that you've already learned the past week, and then doing that in that new area, you'd be a lot better than you were if you didn't do that practice beforehand, rather than just getting thrown in. I've learned something new this week, you know, the amount of lab lessons I've done before and like you'd always learn something new no matter how many times you do one subject and then add that to whatever skills you already have in map reading and you just get better so it comes with practice. You just get better the further practice you do. To use this edge, yeah. you use this face and where you're going, right? So where, where are we? We're here, aren't we? Yeah. So we go like this, put it where we are, yeah, and then we go like that. See, so it's a straight line. Yeah. And then we line the round so where the lines up with the grid lines. Yeah. Boom. There we go. That's how you get a grid bearing. Oh, yeah. So you want to yeah. So you want to make sure this is facing the direction of travel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then you use the edge, either edge doesn't matter, uh, as a straight line to where you're going. From where you are to where you're going. Yeah? Happy with that? Yeah. Right, so give me the grid for where you are now. And then I'll give you the grid for the next point. So four four one zero, yeah. Four four one zero nine four two five. Yep, yep, perfect. Spot on. So that's where we're going. So I'm in a rifle company right now, which is Alpha Company within First Battalion Royal Irish. I'm a battlefield casualty replacement from Mali. Uh, there's lads out in Mali now from Alpha Company. I went and done all the training, same as they did before they went. So if anyone does get injured out in Mali, then they can bring me in and keep that manpower that they have out there. You know, keep on top of your fitness is probably one of the most important things within this job, because that's kind of the base level is what you're at. So as a ranger, 
you be at that base level and then the fitter you get, the more skills you do, you just keep going up. Keep going up, uh, the longer you've been in, the more skills you do, the fitter you'd, you'd likely be. Because that's, you don't know where you're going to get deployed. So it's definitely important to keep on top of your fizz before you go out into those different environments. It's definitely important to try and adapt to just moving locations a lot. So you go down to Salisbury Plain one day, then Church Trenton a different day, you know. It's definitely important to try and get that into your head so it'd be easier to adapt whenever you do go to a different country on a deployment or a training exercise. It's definitely, it would definitely be a lot easier once you go out there.